Hi everyone, it's Ian here. Welcome to Thought for the Day. I hope you're keeping well, particularly as the virus situation seems to be getting very bumpy right now, as the Prime Minister recently described it. So today I want to bring you some very special encouragement, and it's a bit from a letter that St Paul wrote to a church fellowship that he loved. This church in Corinth was going through a very bumpy time indeed. And in one of the letters that he wrote to them, Paul says, you, brothers and sisters, who have become Christians, you are being transformed into the image of Jesus. He says, guys, right now, right in the middle of your bumpy situation, you are being transformed into the image of Jesus. And that changes everything. I can clearly remember when I first heard that Jesus wants to live in me and Jesus wants to change me, you know, to be a Christian is to be like Jesus. I have to tell you, for quite a long time, I was confused and a bit worried at the thought that God wanted to get rid of me. Basically, I thought that everything that I was had to go and that worried me. I felt that Jesus had swapped places with me so that I could swap personalities with him. So there'd be no Ian anymore. There'd just be this other person, this new Christian person who was really not much like me at all. And I can't tell you how relieved I was to find that God's plans are bigger than that. His plans do involve radical change, yes. But his aim is not to replace us, but to remake us. So I have a question for you. What kind of a person are you? Do you ever do these in magazines and newspapers? We love these. What kind of a person are you? You know, are you an extrovert or an introvert? Do you like planning ahead or are you a spontaneous person? What kind of a person are you? But it can lead to this kind of approach. This is who I am and it's fixed. And my thought for us today is this. If we have become a Christian, if we are a follower of Jesus, then we are on a journey. We are in the process of being changed and it's a journey that takes a lifetime. Christianity is not a badge that we put on top of our clothes and say, this is me and, by the way, I've become a Christian. Being a Christian is a journey that we go on. And it's a journey that will touch us and change us and sometimes change us almost beyond recognition. We are shaped and we are changed, all of us, by this roller coaster of life, by this bumpy ride by the joys and the sorrows that we all experience. And if you want to know how that works in practice, let me remind you that Jesus wasn't born with scars. He wasn't born with holes in his hands. He was born just fine as far as we know, but no scars. The scars he got when he was nailed to a cross by sinful human beings. The scars are the marks of living in a sinful world. And yet, when he was raised from the dead, Jesus still had the scars. And that is a picture of the way that God works in us. There are some things, some of the way we are, which is shaped by the bumpy ride of our life experiences. But sometimes God uses it all the same. And it's amazing how he does this. Sometimes he uses the way we are, even if it's a weakness. But he uses it. So it's like a scar, if you like. Like the scars of Jesus. For instance, when I was at school and at college, I struggled to achieve my goals. And I had to repeat several years. But I struggled. And God isn't going to wipe the whole thing out and give me a new personality. Some of these things are scars that God uses to shape us, even if we're shaped by weakness and hurt and failure. 
but wonderfully. At the same time, the Bible also speaks of tears that God wipes away, famously at the end of the book of Revelation. And some of the bits of who we are, some of the bits of our own bumpy ride, are going to be healed. And God doesn't want it to be a scar that we keep. He wants it to be a tear that he wipes away. We're on a journey. Let's pray about that right now. Lord, you make me who you want me to be. You change me into the image of your son, Jesus, in your time and in your way. Amen. I hope you have a great day. Today is the next step on your journey in being shaped to become like Jesus. Exciting, isn't it, when you look at it that way? Bye for now.